Steve Riggle, all the translators, all, all, all the donors, uh, you know, those of us who accomplish things for the kingdom, we stand on the shoulders of giants. And, you know, I say I don't know who to thank, but I really do. I just thank God. And, and thank all of you for listening to God and for giving us 30 minutes to hear us walk through and pray through a wonderful story, a miracle that's a new joint venture version, version of the Bible produced by Messianic Jewish scholars. Well, let's thank the Lord together, hun, if you would, lead us in prayer. And we have some special guests behind, rabbis and reverend scholars, wives, pastors, wives. We have a little program here, a way of saying, Thank you, Lord. Let's pray. Adonai, Adonainu, ma'adir shimcha b'chol ha'aretz. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name. Father, you have called us, just as it said in Isaiah, that we have come up to the mount of the Lord up to the house of the God of Jacob, where you will teach us your way so that we can walk in your paths. Ki mitzion tzitzay Torah, udvardenai v'yushalayim. For the law, for the Torah shall go forth from Zion, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Lord, it is such a privilege to be standing, and we thank you, just as my husband said thank you to all these individuals. Lord, but yet, you're greater than the sum of all of our parts. And so, Father, send us forth from this place with this word. Thank you for all that you've done, you're doing, and going to do. Lord, for we are not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Do marvelous things beyond anything we can imagine. For we pray this in the name of our Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. Join me in saying the cornerstone of our faith from the scriptures, Deuteronomy chapter six and verse four, and also verses five to nine, the Shema and the Ve'ahavta. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kivod Malchuto Le'olam Vo'ed Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Blessed is the name of his glorious kingdom for all eternity. Ve'ahavta et Adonai alohecha b'chol avavcha u'v'chol nafshecha u'v'chol me'odecha. Va'yu harverim ha'ele asher enochi mitzvavcha hayom alavovecha. V'shi nanton levanecha v'dibarta bam v'shivtecha v'vetecha u'v'leftecha v'aderech u'shapecha u'v'kumecha. Ukshartom laot al yodecha v'yu latutafot bein enecha. And you shall love Adonai, your God, with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And these words which I am commanding you today are to be on your heart. You're to teach them diligently to your children and speak to them when, they, when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. Bind them as a sign on your hand. They are to be as frontlets between your eyes. And write them on the doorpost of your house and on your gates. Ve'ahavta l'reicha kamocha, And you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Amen. We are here now to thank you the living word for giving us the written word. We thank you, Lord, that in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. All things were made through him. And apart from him, nothing was made that has come into being. We thank you, Lord, that you made your word come alive in our hearts. We thank you for the written word that we have read and we will read again, and we thank you, Lord, that with this new version, we will...
be able to understand your word even with more clarity and insight. We thank you, Lord, for the translators, the labor of love, the devotion to your word, the desire to be accurate and to be able to express your word in language that anyone could understand. Thank you, Lord, that your word is the source of our faith, for faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of truth. And so, Lord, we are grateful to everyone who has played a significant part in this and those who have done maybe less, but all of us together with one voice saying, you are the word and you are alive in our hearts. Amen. I think as important as the uniqueness of the text itself of this Tree of Life version is the amazing accomplishment uh, and what this represents. This represents a restored Messianic Jewish movement that has come back to life after almost 2,000 years and represents the collective work of a movement that has grown and matured in fulfillment of Bible prophecy. Amen. And I think standing here in Jerusalem, we can declare God's faithfulness with this Tree of Life version and say God is restoring the house of Israel as he promised in his word. And I think of Romans 11 that talks about their rejection bringing salvation to the nations to provoke the Jewish people to jealousy but if their rejection brought you salvation, what will happen when they come back? Life from the dead. <laughs> Folks, this Bible represents life from the dead, a restored remnant of Israel coming back to the God of Israel as our faithful God declared he would do. I want to read from the portion of the week. And one of the things I love about the Tree of Life, there's so many things I love about this version but it's broken into the various portions of the week so, or, or for the year. So every week there's a different portion, and it's really a great connection with the Jewish roots of your faith. It's actually listed each portion. And this week, the portion talks about God's faithfulness and blessing when the people of Israel are faithful, as well it lists the... Uh, Faith, what happens with faithlessness and the misery that ensues. We've been scattered to the nations of the world. But God said, I will bring you back. And we're here in Jerusalem, restored. So God is fulfilling his word. So here's just a verse of his faithfulness. It's from Leviticus 26. And again, the five books of Moses, the Torah, are broken down into a cycle of reading. And you can actually follow along over the course of the week and, and uh, of the course of the year and read the portion of the week. And that's the same portion that's being read in synagogues ac around the world. So it's a connection with your uh, heritage, your Jewish roots and the Jewish people. So here's God's faithfulness as declared in Leviticus chapter 26 in verse three. If you walk in my statutes, keep my, and here's a great feature of the tree of life, mitzvot, commandments, mitzvot. It actually uses the Hebrew, and you're going to learn a lot of Hebrew as you read from your, your tree of life edition. As you keep my mitzvot and carry them out, then I will give you rains in their season. The land will yield its crops. The trees of the field will yield their fruit. Your threshing will last until grape gathering. The grape gathering will last until sowing time. You will eat your bread to the full and live securely in your land. And that is what we have seen here in Israel. We've seen the, the, the desert blossom like a rose. We've seen 450 million trees added to this land, and it's bearing great fruit. Israel has blossomed. And then verse 6, I will bring you shalom. And I, I love that it uses that word shalom. That would normally be translated peace, but shalom means so much more. So you'll look it up and you'll see shalom here. It means completeness, it means fullness, it means well-being. And of course, Yeshua, Jesus is shalom. It says, 
I will bring shalom in the land and you will lie down with no one making you afraid. And that is the future for this land and this city. And so it's a joy to gather in Jerusalem and, and to feature the Tree of Life's Virgin, a, a restoration of, a prophetic restoration of God's people, the people of Israel, coming back to the God of Israel through their Messiah in the land of Israel, in the city of great, the great king, Jerusalem. So be part of the prophetic fulfillment of Israel's restoration with the Tree of Life. One of the lines in our congregation's vision statement speaks of revealing the true face of Yeshua to Israel and the nations. And I think about that when I read from the Tree of Life, the Bible, as a father of a Messianic Jewish family, it's very important for us to create our, our home in a way we feel convicted by the Lord in Jewish space. And when we do our family devotions, we use this version of the Bible. And it's a, it's a versatile version because we also use it in the congregation. That's how connected we are to this version of the Bible. And it, and it reveals the true face of Yeshua being that of our Jewish Messiah, even in how it highlights the Jewishness of Yeshua. An example of that is found in the Bible itself. In the back version, you'll see several special editions there, and one of them is the Messiah's Prayer. So I have the privilege tonight to just read uh, the Messiah's Prayer that you'll find, uh, taken from the Bezorah of Matthew, but then put here in the back of the Bible. Avinu shebashamayim itkadeshimcha, tavo machutcha yase rotsoncha, kavashamayim ken baaretz, et lechem chukenu ten lano hayom, uslachlanu al chataenu, kefi she solchim gama nachnu, lechotim lano, baal tevienu lide neseon, ke im chatsenu min hara, ke lecha hamam lecha, la hagvora, la hatiferet laonme olamim, Amen. Our Father in heaven, sanctified be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. That's one addition you're going to find in the Tree of Life Bible. It's an inspiration, and you'll find more things throughout the Bible that are very helpful in leading both your family and congregational life. Thank you so much. God bless you. My name is Donnie, and I raised Jewish children alongside my husband, Rabbi Mark. And one of my very favorite prayers I learned um, in Hebrew is always said right after the um, right after the Torah is read. It's called the Eschaim. It's called the Tree of Life, like the name of our Bible. And so I'm going to sing it for you because it's one of those Jewish melodies that has held our people together from generation to generation. And it's the melody that I pray my children and my children's children will say in unity together in the years to come. Eschaim hi. Lamachazikimba Vetomcheha Meushar Dirachiha Darhe Noam Vecholnetivoteha Shalom Hashivenu Adonai Elecha v'nashuva Chadesh, Chadesh yamenu Chadesh yamenu kekedem And in the English it recites a proverb and lamentations. It is a tree of life to those who grasp it and happy are those who cling to it. Its ways are ways of pleasantness, and all its paths are shalom. Bring us back to you, Adonai, and we will return. Renew our days as of old. Thank you, Baker Publishing, for making this possible. Help us to see our, our family tree renewed as we join together as one in Messiah. Amen. 
as I think about some of these scriptures as it relates to God getting a hold of his people and, and in fact, all of humanity, I go directly to Second Chronicles chapter 7. It's one of my favorite portions of scripture because even though Solomon is, in, is ending the construction and he's about to dedicate the temple of the Holy One into uh, operation, and he gives this incredible heartfelt prayer that I think we all need to enter into because I'm here tonight to pray and to beseech the Lord along with you a revival for the nation of America, the United States of America. And the very ending of his prayer towards the end that Solomon prays, he talks about forgive us, Lord, because we have sinned, we've committed iniquity, we've acted wickedly, and, and he talks about the returning of the people of Israel. Now, mind you, this is all after an incredible, incredible construction project, one of the greatest construction projects the world has ever seen, then and now. And he comes over to this, and now, God, I pray, let your eyes be open and let your ears be attentive to the prayer made in this place. And then the next line comes right of our Torah service. Arise, O Lord, Adonai Elohim, to your resting place, you and the ark of your might. And so tonight, if you will, would you join me in a prayer as we pray for the, the USA, for all not only thanking God for the establishment of our country, but for him to revive us as well. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, as we stand here in Jerusalem, you had said that the, this good news would go out from Jerusalem, Samaria, and to the other parts of the world. We acknowledge that the homeland that we were birthed in as, as U.S. citizens is pretty much the uttermost parts of the earth. Father, we pray for your mercy. We pray, Lord God, that you, would, that you would not relent, that you would go forward, that you would shower and pull all of humanity from, from New York to California and everything in between. Father, from North Dakota to Texas, Father, break out your presence. Cause us to return to you as a nation. Cause us as people of God. And now, Lord God, I pray for the body of Messiah, Father, cause us, cause all of us who love you, who know that our Messiah Yeshua lives and is living and active in who we all are. Father, cause us to pray without ceasing, to pray for our nation. Father, it took years for revivals to take place. And yet, Lord God, it was done previous because of prayer. And after all is said and done, we pray this, that the United States from of America, for every Jew, for every Gentile, from every nation, tongue, and tribe, will get out of their homes, lift their hands to heaven, and say, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. Father, you are good. And when we declare your goodness, it causes the Spirit of God to rise up in us, and we say again that you are good, O oh God, and your mercies endure forever. Thank you, Lord, for that you are the hearer of every prayer and that you are the answer of prayer. Thank you for this opportunity to come before you. And thank you for what we were, we, that you allowed us to do by your grace in the great country of America. Thank you and bless you, Lord. We can pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Lord, we thank you, Father, for who you are, for you are a good God. Lord, we thank you for who you are, God, because in your nature you are good. Lord, we establish your goodness over this place. Lord, we welcome you into this place. Father, in order for there to be peace here, Lord, we need to know you. So I just ask, Lord, that you will just draw us into your heart. Father, we may know you and we may be known by your love. 
So Lord, I just ask for fire to fall down from heaven. God, that we may just, the veils that are on people's eyes will fall right now in the name of Yeshua. Lord, that we may know your salvation. We may know your truth. Father, that it will draw us closer to you. It will draw us together. That we may be known by your love, that you will get the glory. Father, and that your peace, through that, your peace will rest upon this city. Father, that your glory will be known. Lord, we adore you. We love you. We come before you in reverence for you are I am. You are the holy God of Israel. This is your place. Father, your heart is for this place. You have promises over this land and you are faithful to your word. So Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we are walking in a miracle of being here and walking in the faithfulness of who you are. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to be here, for drawing us back to your land. And we know and we trust that you will bring peace upon this city. Baruch haba b'shem Adonai. Blessed are you who comes in the name of the Lord. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us here from Jerusalem as we've launched the new Tree of Life version of the Bible published by Baker Publishing. And I just want to end this time together by praying the ironic benediction over you. In the book of Numbers, it says, And the Lord spoke to Moses. He said, Command Aaron to bless the people of Israel in this way. Yivarechecha Adonai ve'yishmerecha. Ya'er Adonai panavalecha v'chunecha. Yisa Adonai panavalecha ve'yasem lecha shalom. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. We bless you from Jerusalem. For more information, go to familybiblesociety.org. We'd love for you to join us there.